What's happening everybody? Blue Gabe. Look who it is. It's Jake. And look who it is. It's Luke. Luke, you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. You want to say hi? Hello. Hey. Look, Siri just said hello. Yeah, what's up, Siri? Anyhow, I haven't seen the kids in a week. We are going to Dairy Queen to get some snacks. It says it's Luke, Luke, and say hi. <laughs> then we're heading to Uncle Aubrey's house to catch some critters with my cast net to come back and feed our new pet in the tank that y'all haven't seen yet. Well, some of you have. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen our new pet. You might want to stick around because this is about to get fun. We're going to catch critters. I need to put my seatbelt on. We're going to throw the cast net. Jake's got his dip net. We're getting blizzards and ice cream cones. And the most important, Jake's favorite, we got some fresh deer meat because I killed a deer in Alabama and I'm going to cook our favorite dish that we grew up eating and it was like holy mackerel mom's cooking this and we got super excited and it's jake and luke's favorite meal so it's just the beginning we'll see y'all when we get there are you ready to go or what what's your favorite come here where's your shoes um i don't have any where's your shoes wait where's my shoes what's your favorite dairy queen um this one. What's yours? Mm, I don't know. Well, go in there in order. Are you going to share that with me? Let me see what you got. Mm. It's been three seconds and he's almost done. Where's ours at? It's on its way. On its way. Y'all leave a comment below and tell me what's your favorite Dairy Queen snack. Who is ready to go catch stuff for the fish tank? Me. As he's got ice cream just falling down his face. This should be interesting. We'll see y'all at Uncle Aubrey's house in Jupiter, Florida on the Intercoastal Waterway where there's all kinds of cool creatures. When we were young, we caught seahorses quite regularly. I would have a heart attack if I caught one now. That would be so awesome. But you never know until you go. We'll see y'all when we get there. What is she doing? My sister-in-law's rowing in her living room. What in the world? What? You're you're not even on the water. Hey. It's gonna get Are you practicing it. rowing or what? Yep. Rios, we only got 10 minutes of daylight left. Hey, I ain't the one that just showed up late trying to act like. Go get the nets. Y'all, hey, we're in a hurry now. I don't know how, but darkness has almost snuck up on me. We're gonna grab these nets and be over there at the dock in just a minute. Are you ready though? Are you ready to catch something? Yeah. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. All right, y'all. I had no idea it was this windy because when we left my house in Stewart, it was not blowing this hard. We're gonna throw the net a couple times. The boys are down here getting snails and whatnot. We're gonna see if we can't catch some little sand perch. So this is a smaller version of the black pearl you saw me throw in the blue crabbing video. I'm old school. I put the net in my mouth. I don't throw it over my arm. It don't even look right when I see people do it. But I throw it my way. You throw it your way. Where is she? We probably caught at least something. What? A big one? Well, not the biggest thing in the world, but he's a stone crab. <laughs> he's a decent sized stone crab. No, hold on. We caught some little fish. Woo, we caught all kinds of little fish. No, you're down there, you snooze. You snooze, you lose. These are perfect little Mahara's. We're gonna put them in that other bucket. This is actually what Jax would feed on in the wild. 
So it's gonna be perfect for the tank. Oops, I just gave away the secret. I wasn't supposed to give away the secret. What'd y'all get? Some little Maharas. Majaras, man. All right, Aubrey. So in a video a while back, oh, the peacock video, I was explaining what Aubrey got his degree in and what he studied, and then I got short because I kind of bite. And there's one guy that keeps asking me, and he's really interested in what you do. Tell them real quick. So I went to graduate school at Texas A&M University, and I studied in the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries Sciences, and I got a PhD studying large river systems in South America. We also did research um, all over the place. We went to, what's that little, hold on, hold on, let me get that. You just cut short too. I know. I thought it was something else. Hold on, I'll get you one, I'll get you one. You want to put it down there, Jake? All right, finish explaining what you were saying. So I went to undergraduate at University of Florida. I had a zoology major and an education minor. Then I worked for five years. Then I went to graduate school at Texas A&M where I studied in the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. I got a PhD studying the ecology of large rivers. And presently I'm the executive director of the Loxhatchee River District. We do wastewater. We are the wastewater utility in northern Palm Beach County and southern Martin County, but we also do environmental education and environmental restoration and monitoring on the Loxhatchee River and the southern Indian River Lagoon. Y'all want to know where I went to school? The school of hard knocks and bobcatting with my dad. I want to catch a baby flounder so bad, oh, yeah, but I don't think it's legal to eat them. I don't think we caught anything that bad. That is Let a me nice see net. it, Luke. This is that new net. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. That black pearl makes. We already got what I came to get, which is just some of these little maharas for this jack to start eating on. So it's already a win-win. Yeah, That's all we right out here. Well, I want to throw it that away, but the wind's blowing so hard. You want me to throw it for you? Put them in the, in the bucket that has water. So when you're throwing a cast net, you always need to try to throw with the wind. If you try to throw into it or sideways with it, the wind will grab your net like a sail and blow it. But Aubrey's giving me crap and wants me to throw it this way, so I'm gonna try. Right there. I'm holding a net with these two fingers. That's the most important thing. Look, look how perfect, perfect I put that I around that yeah. pylon. Now, I purposely just threw a banana so I didn't hit that pole, in case y'all were wondering. I expect it to be all kinds of sand perch. And yeah. I know. Uh oh, puffer, we got puffer. No, a bigger Mahara. Oh, oh no, it's a mangrove. Oh, a mangrove. Or a baby mutton. That's what the oh, wind it does. is. It's a baby mutton. You're right. Mm. That's Beautiful. actually funny because my next video is going to be a mutton catch, clean, and cook. Okay, so a lot of people confuse, make sure it's focused. A lot of people confuse little muttons and little lanes. See the pointy anal fin? and the spot. Those are two obvious things to help identify. If you open Fish Rules app and you click on the pictures and you swipe the pictures, you'll see. This is a mutton. The little spot, blue line under the eye, but notably the anal fin is a point and it's it's red. Beautiful little juvenile mutton. Alright. Last cast. Last cast. Get ready. That net opens as easy as any net I've ever thrown. Now this time of the year, that's a perfect example of how strong this net is. I just actually threw it on a rock and just flipped the whole rock over. 
But over the summer, I'll really get into cast netting and why and how we use it. But right now, there's just not a ton of bait around and we're not doing those style videos, but they're coming, don't worry. I cannot believe we didn't catch more than that. Hold on, I'm gonna get down there with him. All right, so enough of me. Let's go show y'all what the kids are doing. Luke, what you catching? I'm catching some crabs and snails. What'd you get? The snails are right over there. Where? Show them to me. Right here. Oh, look at all those little snails. Uh, are yeah. you gonna bring some for the fish tank? Yeah, I'm taking it. Jake, what you catching? Uh, we're diving and trying to catch a blue crab. Dad, I need the bucket for you. Here, give them to me. Thank you. We got so many. What'd you get? I got a rock. A rock? Look. Let's see if we can get one crab for the octopus. They got two or three crabs already, but look under those rocks. Oh, I just caught a shrimp. Nice. I caught a shrimp. Same here, okay? I caught a shrimp. Let me see. He caught a full grown shrimp, Aubrey. Oh my gosh. Don't drop him. Here you go, no. Jake. No. Oh, Give I thought I saw something that looks like a shrimp. Nice. Nothing. Oh, I caught a fish. Let me see. What? Oh, what is that? Go ask Uncle Aubrey what that is. I don't even know what that is. It's a very soft. Let me help him. Oh, it's... Catch him. You got him. Oh, yeah, I did. Here, hand him here, hand him here. Come on, Jake. He's very slimy. Let me look at him. Let me rinse him in the water. Looks like a pinfish. Yeah. You got something? What did you catch? All right, y'all, it's getting dark. We got everything that we need. We got snails, crabs, little maharas, and even one little pinfish that Jake caught in his net. We'll see y'all back at my house and get ready because this Jack is going to be super hungry. Frank the crab's hungry. Hank the new shrimp's hungry. It's going to be fun. We are back at the house. I got a deer ham from a deer I killed the other day. And for those of y'all that hunt, you can tell I was on a take no prisoner mission. That's right. Here's the little piece of the ham that's my favorite part. And if you watch my how to make beef jerky video, a lot of people give me a bunch of slack for saying that a backstrap's not good for anything other than jerky. Well, guess what? That's my opinion. I love the ham muscles. Just peel them off. If you take your time, they'll come off in sections because there's tendons and silver meat separating the muscles. So I just carved that one muscle out, got my big knife, let me make sure. So I'm filming by myself. The kids are in the game room taking a break. I just want to cut it in one inch cubes because the boys wanted fried deer meat and grits. So I'm cooking a dish my mama always made for us and I want them in about, I don't know, inch, inch and a half inch cubes. I think I already said that, but I said it again. I love this bigger Danko knife when I'm cutting big chunks of meat. It's got some backbone to it. And that's about all I'm gonna do. Take some of the all purpose. I'm not gonna go too heavy with anything. Just about like that. Some of the Lowry's garlic salt. I'm only doing one side. Then I'll just take it and roll it up around in that seasoning. So right here, I've got just regular flour, some of the can cooker all-purpose breading that they came out with. A couple hairs still in there. Just take the meat, throw it in the flour. Now I'm not deep frying it by any means. So normally I would use my little flour thing that can cooker makes, but 
This is so easy right now. I'm just cooking a little bit. I don't need to do anything crazy. Let's check on all the little fish. Now I've got a bubbler running out of the tank, dripping the tank water into this water to acclimate them. And we're gonna see firsthand if Hank the Jack will eat any of these little maharas. There's a little goby or guppy, whatever you wanna call them. There's Frank. And I got a new little friend right here. See him? Little candy cane shrimp, and he's eating a piece of deer meat right now. We're definitely gonna feed all those things, and we're gonna give Frank his favorite meal ever, which is deer meat. Right now the grease is warming up. Time to cook, though. All I'm gonna do is just shake off excess flour. Put it in there like that. Turn the heat down a little bit. Turn my fan on, it's gonna get noisy now. Now whenever I'm making fried deer meat, the boys want brown gravy or what they call milk gravy. So when you are putting the meat out of the flour into the pan, you can use a little bit extra flour because once we're done, we're gonna render that down and make a roux or what we call a gravy. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. All right, it's time for the grits. Now whenever I'm making grits, it's all sort of by eye. I'm just winging it. Put in about as much as I think needs to be in. Then as they start to warm up, just start stirring them. But you gotta pay attention to them because they'll all stick to the bottom and get clumpy. I like to use a little wooden spoon like this and just start stirring. And as you do, those grits will thicken up and you can add some salt, some pepper, some butter, or however you wanna do it. I just hear me though. Woo. That's gonna be good. Now one thing I do that's different than a lot of people, I don't cook my deer meat all the way through. I want it to be about medium rare, even when I'm frying it. But can y'all smell that? Because I can, and man, it smells good. Who thinks we should feed Frank a piece of deer meat? Me. Now watch this. Watch as this piece of meat gets down there to him. Hopefully the Jack don't eat it. No, 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 don't get it, Jack. He's about to explode once he smells it. Or maybe not. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He smells it. He's alive. Watch him, watch him. He will gorge on him some deer meat. Look, he's trying to push me off. He don't want me up there in his business. Sorry, big boy. We're gonna feed you next, though. Who would have ever have thought I'd have a blue crab for a pet? Now once the grits start getting thick, you better turn that heat down quick. I'm gonna turn it all the way down to low. Grits will burn in a hurry. Yep, it's time for the butter. And that's a lot of butter. But you know what, we like our grits buttery. What can we say? Take some salt. About that much. Maybe a little bit more. Now I don't know where my pepper is. Up oh, right here, right in front of my face. Not that much. Now, you can see those grits are on low, but they're still bubbling like crazy. That's because they hold the heat. You gotta keep stirring them. It has literally been less than two minutes since I gave him that piece of deer meat, and it is gone. How crazy is that? So something else I haven't told you is there's an octopus in that tank, but he's the world's worst pet because you don't ever see him. I know where he's hiding though. He hides down in there and like buries himself. So crazy. 
You can't ever see them. So boring. All right, so dinner's almost ready, but right now I gotta get this deer meat off and make the gravy. So like I said, I want it just medium rare, medium, medium rare, close enough. That came out perfect. All right, now it's time to make the gravy or the root, whatever you want to call it. So right here is the same flour that I breaded the meat with. And I'll just sprinkle it around like this. Maybe a little bit more. I just start stirring that up. I'm gonna turn the heat back on high and let it get really hot. So the flour that you're putting in the grease, it's gonna suck it all up and all the seasonings that came off the deer meat. But that's not grease, that's vegetable oil. Not many people do that. I do it every now and then. I don't even have normal grease tonight, so that's what I use. I've got half and half. This is two cups, a cup of milk and a cup of water. This is getting hot again. And while it does, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper and a little bit of the Lowry's garlic salt. You can see it's getting smoking hot. Now here comes the hard part because I need two hands to do this. Gonna stir it. See how it's condensing down and getting real, real thick? That's not what we want. That's what we want right now, but that's not what we want to end up with. Turn the heat down and just slowly keep adding it. Keep stirring. Now that I got it like that, I'm going to get this cool and just start whisking it. As it boils, it'll get thicker again. All right, so as your gravy thickens up, start turning the heat off and really start stirring it because it will get thicker and thicker as it cools off. Right now I can tell I need to add the rest. But now it's really liquidy, so you gotta really stir it really good, and then go ahead and finish it off. And we'll see y'all at the table in a minute. Who's ready to eat? Are y'all ready to eat? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whoa, whoa. Here's how this is going to go down, y'all. I've already poured your grits. Jake gets a little bit more than Luke. We got the deer meat. We got the brown gravy. Look at that. Oh, I like deer meat. You like deer meat? Yeah. See how liquidy it is? That's how we like it, y'all. Mmm. My goodness, my goodness. If you're from the south, you're probably drooling right now. Just right in the gravy. It don't have to be no fancy, no nothing. Mmm. 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 Holy goodness. Mm. No, that's loose. Luke, you want to say the blessing or you want Jake to say it? I want me to say it. All right, go ahead. Thank you, dear Lord, for this beautiful day. Thank you for everything and the things that we do. And amen. Amen. I wanted to do it quick. Y'all, he said he wanted to do it quick. But no matter how you do it, as long as you do it, that's all that counts. Blow on it, it's super hot. All right, time to feed. The fish. Whoa. Oh, he's trying to eat it up out of your hand. Drop it. Let's see what he does. What oh, he's dead. Doom. Just like that. Luke, get out of that bucket, Lukey, and let your brother get it. Y'all already had a bath. Got a few. Don't touch them with your hands. Turn them loose. All right. Go, quick. Hopefully the jack don't get him. Oh, he is going to get him. Oh my gosh, what a pig! Here, let's just dump oh, them in. Got 
got him. Maybe they can run for the hill so that Jack don't eat all of them. I got one too. Oh, get mine. Oh, get him. He's Drop him in there quick. So maybe he can make it without getting ate. Yeah, he'll 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 get eat because because the Jack can eat him better. That, that wasn't very good English you were just speaking. There's Let me turn fish. this one loose. I'm going to turn this one loose too. He's, he's... Put some of your snails that you caught in there. Okay. Oh. Jay, get your shrimp. Get my snails. I got some snails. Hold on. Hold on. Let me dump some of this water out. We're going to turn some loose in here. But I don't want them to die, so we'll just dump them just like that. One big oh, happy Oh, there's tank. a crab in there. You seen a crab? Yeah, there was a crab right in there. He climbed right down. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. That's a wrap for that video. Took the boys to school this morning. I'm home packing because in about five minutes, I'm heading to Miami to the Miami Boat Show to meet the Hang'em High Sport Fishing Charter crew. Talk to some other companies about some awesome things coming in the future. But right now, I got to get in that brand new Paul Thigpen Chevrolet. Y'all check that out. I worked my booty off to earn that truck. Paid for it, spent a lot of time working, a lot of time saving, but that's what you get when you go after your hopes and dreams. So y'all, thanks for subbing. Thanks for everything you do. Thanks for all the positive comments, and most importantly, thanks for all your support. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here, and we're getting the heck out of shape. See y'all.